76ers on the city court, rocking the old city threads tonight here on Broad Street. And uh, bounce pass to Gafford. No good on the reverse. And beat quickly to Harden. James pushing. Up top. Down it goes. Tobias Harris on the oop from Harden. James had 17 assists against these Wizards here in November. Had 13 dimes down to D.C. in December. The Wizards can't buy a bucket right now. Okay, there it is. Daniel Gafford, the offensive rebound in the putback. Well, we both know he's one of the toughest dudes out there. We've seen him go oh, out with take more than that. rolled ankles before, go back to the locker room, get it retaped, and back out a few minutes later. Beal gets the roll on the floor. Complimentary to his jump shot is his dribble penetration for Beal. He's really good at getting inside that lane. James crossover on Kuzma to the left hand, drawing contact, laying it up and in. Well, Porzingis put it in front of him, PJ took it. Embiid, the double comes, he passes out of it. Tyrese Maxey is good for three. Morse to Gibson, lost it. Tucker getting on the floor for it. Numbers, Embiid. So it's working out for them is what you're saying. It's working out okay. It's doing okay. Embiid alters that shot. Jalen McDaniels has checked in. Here comes Harden again between the legs. Joel Embiid, the dynamic duo, and it again here on Broad Street. I guess if you're in the East Coast, you just say, hey, guy, guy. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it's redundant. It's, it's, yeah. Five to shoot, feel, <laughs> driving, and high off the window for two. The Anthony, though, was five to six, three for four from outside. He had 13 big points in the win over the Blazers. Kispert got lucky with that pass. Then he opts yet to Kispert in the corner, and that's what Corey Kispert is known for, right? The three-point shooting. He was kind of just playing junk time, but they've relied on him more now. And Corey's a good shooter, as you touched on. You know who else is a good shooter? That guy, George Nier, with the answer. Don't pick up your dribble on the minivan. Ron almost lost his footing. It's not a pretty possession for the Wizards. It won't matter if they can find a bucket. Kispert, the cut, the finish, and the foul. The, the costume helps them get through security. What, what, what are you talking about, a costume? Yeah, what costume exactly? Maybe they have their own plans. That's true. Shake Milton. The second opportunity, kissing it off the window for two. Porzingis hurling from the elbow, Melton clears. Wanted the foul, but I didn't see anything up top. Perhaps it was contact underneath, but it didn't affect the shot at least. And McDaniels lurking on the baseline. Melton finds him, Jalen lays it up and in. And then we always say, in the lane, it's better to bounce pass. Foul on Paul Reed. Why, why is it better in the lane? Because it gives you more time to see it if you're a big guy. Porzingis is there. Yang with one three under his belt already. As well as that technical free throw will head out. Tobias Harris back in off the uh, baseline with the jam. Luzma, baseline, Kispert, and Corey Kispert getting up and throwing it down. And he's certainly a part of their future, Corey Kispert. Cut from Harris, good find from Harden. Porzingis is there to deflect, and Kispert All right, that's again. two dunks, Corey. Enough already. <laughs> Of course, Pete Newell leading the Bears before right. that. Great Pete Newell. Went to Pete Newell, big man camp. Side step three from the great James Harden. Morris, of course, spending three of his four years at Iowa State with our George Nian. Cyclones reaching the 2016 Midwest Regional Semis, thanks to those two. Uh, and he had to get it off quickly because Max was closing out on him. Tobias Harris creating some space, going up with authority. The screen to screen or action. Beal sets the initial screen and then gets the screen himself. And gets it back to Gafford, who we know can do that. Got into the middle of that defense, and it was Gafford who saw him late, couldn't get to him in time. Wide open look for James. Who's right? Rattles in the three. Well, and when come, with it. yeah, when you think about this team, you, you wonder, do they have anything to play for? But give them credit. They're still fighting. Joel throws it up. Four to shoot. Three to shoot. Yeah. Kispert cutting. You called it again. Ten of their last 13. Heading on the run for the next three after this. Head fake, head fake. Joel gets it back. More fakes and decides he's going to do the righty hook shot. I don't really even think he left his feet for that one. Really running anything there. Yeah. 
And beat three guys around him. Harden, wing triple. It's good for James Harden. Well, the pass and the passer do all the work. Porzingis Damn. trailing. Wow. How do you not dunk that if you're seven foot twelve like he is? Maxi corner three. Yes, sir. Back on the bench, so that's good news for the Wizards. Bad news is the Sixers on a 10-2 run. Seven to shoot, five to shoot. James coming over to double. And swan it down. You gotta go out there and just play basketball. Read and react sometimes. And when they do, they're one of the best yep. in the association, right? Oh, high man. off the window. Wizards are not going away. 67-59, Sixers in front. Harris catch and shoots. Tobias Harris for three. But initially, there was a little bit of a rift there, so they did it in private. Beal finding some space, laying it up and in. He was still telling the story before the game tonight. <laughs> did you guys see what's here on Friday? Oh my gosh, let me show you the picture. I was asked to be public, but I was happy to tell the story again, <laughs> believe me. And be the spin, the layout. And for Beal, Kuzma back on the floor for Washington. Trying a little spin move of his own, and this one works. Well, he looks okay there on that drive. <laughs> works for Kuzma, a former big guy as well, and a former youth. And we're just getting word from the Wizards PR staff as MVP moves into the 30s once again. 38th 30 point game for Joel this season. Harden looking for Joel behind the back. Elbow layup. And he knows it's an assist. It's a waiting. That's <laughs> he what he really knows. And on that note, it's another double double point assist. Double double as Beal goes all the way up and over Joel Embiid, which is not easy to do, but 13 and 10 tonight for James Hart. Poked it away. Embiid doubled over to Melton. Back to Embiid it comes. Double again. Anthony Melton from way outside. Bucket from De'Anthony Melton. Just 39.7% from the floor. 27 of 68 is Washington. Shot clock winding to two. To one. Melton hurls and hits. If they can tune the defense up just a little bit going into the postseason, they're going to be dangerous. Yep. And I think it's about the second unit and their offense. But they're, you're right. The rest of the team, their defense. So Kyle Kuzma feeling okay, I guess. He looks spry. <laughs> After that layup. <laughs> I, some of us just don't bounce back that quickly. So good. James, great pass and an even better finish from Paul Reed. God, God. over in pregame. <laughs> Keep shooting, Kyle. <laughs> Melton, great bounce pass. Paul Reed with a two-handed rim rocker. Big man, I hope you're paying attention, my partner tonight. He's, he's putting on a big man clinic. Just don't want to lose any points. A Euro from Porzingis for two. Not having a good night tonight. He's just 4 of 14 for nine points. Shake from the corner. It's good. Shake Melton for three. Because of the skill set and the size. 7 3 and agile? Yeah, that just doesn't happen. Just like that. Speaking of agility. Driving baseline for the deuce. Forced him to put the ball on the floor. They got to him, but he drove right by the defender for the nice little baseline bunny. Good defense by Paul Reed. Not to foul. Forced a tough shot from Kuzma. Melton. Another three for Anthony Melton. 10 and 12 from the line. I mean, but just the amount of attention that he garners, and rightfully so, and still, wow, Kispert. Not done yet. I'm really liking what we're seeing from yeah. Paul Reed. Well, and that's selfless basketball, right? He didn't just stick with it and be hard-headed. He made sure the team kept it protected. Arden, shot clock about to expire! Obvious oh, scoops it to Kispert. Corey Kispert oh. up for another pair. And he'll have a chance at a three-point play. And a 10 minute goes back out to Cork Moss, back down to Dwayne. He's faked towards the baseline, into the paint, and his first points here in 2023 for the new Sixers, Dwayne Denman. Play the song, baby, Sixers, with their